On July the 23rd, it has passed one year of the arrest of Gubad Ibadoglu in Azerbaijan. PWYP, Crude Accountability, Amnesty International and other civil society organizations are jointly calling for his release. We, the undersigned organizations and individuals, strongly condemn the ongoing crackdown against civil society in Azerbaijan that has targeted a broad range of individuals, including human rights activists, journalists, political opposition members and leaders of non-governmental organizations. In particular, we call for the immediate and unconditional release of Gubad Ibadoglu, who was violently and wrongfully arrested a year ago today reads a statement by the group of international NGOs. On the 23rd of July, about 20 Azerbaijani police in civilian clothes arrested Ibadoglu and his wife Irada Beyramova after cars without official markings rammed their vehicle, manufacturing a traffic accident. Despite numerous appeals, Ibadoglu spent nine months in a pre-trial detention facility before being transferred to house arrest, where he remains. Gubad Ibadoglu's children applied on this event to people going to COP29 in Baku for releasing their father. They demanded freedom to other politicians and journalists. They say we are stronger together and we can ask Azerbaijani government to release these persons. Recall Azerbaijan is under a global spotlight this year as host to the United Nations Climate Conference to be held in Baku in November. In the lead-up to COP29, United Nations Framework Convention for Climate Change member states should press Azerbaijan's government publicly and privately to respect its human rights obligations, including by immediately and unconditionally releasing arbitrarily detained activists and human rights defenders. These countries should recommend concrete structural reforms to ensure that positive changes endure beyond COP29. Given the dire human rights situation in Azerbaijan, the UNFCCC Secretariat should work with the government of Azerbaijan to provide space for diverse civil society participation in the climate conference including by individuals and groups critical of the government. Robust and rights-respecting climate action requires the full and meaningful participation of civil society in climate negotiations, including the outcome of COP29. Bundeswehr Inspector General Karsten Brewer has warned of the growing military threat Russia poses to the West. We are seeing that the Russian army is orienting itself towards the West, he said in an interview with the Sachsisch Zeitung newspaper, as quoted by the DPA news agency. According to Brewer, in five to eight years the Russian armed forces will be staffed and equipped in such a way that an attack on NATO territory will be possible. In this regard, the highest-ranking Bundeswehr officer referred to his own analysis, information from the intelligence services and armed forces of Germany's allies, as well as statements by Russian President Vladimir Putin. He pointed out that the Russian army receives between 1,000 and 1,500 tanks annually, while the five largest European NATO countries have only half that number combined. In particular, the Bundeswehr has about 300 combat tanks, the German general noted. If we add to this potential the intention that can be clearly read in Putin's statements, then this should alarm us. My task is to think about such a worst-case scenario, he further emphasized. According to Brewer, for Germany this means the need to prepare for a possible attack by the Russian Federation in five years. At the same time, not everyone has yet realized the new threat situation, he added. Commenting on the situation in Ukraine, the Inspector General of the Bundeswehr noted that he does not expect significant changes in the combat zones in the near future. At the same time, it is possible to conduct small, slow operations, but it is difficult to carry out large-scale offensives at the moment, he is sure. The concentration of troops will be immediately noticed and will lead to the adoption of countermeasures, the General explained. At the same time, the country that suffered from the Russian invasion still depends on the help of its partners, he recalled.